Hello, welcome to Arrival Graphics. Today we are going to learn how to create shapes in Photoshop. To create your shape, you first of all create your document. So if you are using Adobe Photoshop CS6, this is how we create a document. You press on the control key and the end button. Then you will see a pop-up menu here. Then you click OK. So if you want to know more about how to create a new document in Photoshop CSS, kindly hit on my subscription button. There is a video for that. So you press OK. After that, you double click on the layer. You can see there is a lock here. So you double click on it and you see a pop-up menu here. Then you click OK. After that, you click on image. Then you come to where image rotation is. Then you click on 90 degrees clockwise and your image will be rotated or your layer will be rotated. So the tool that we are going to use to create our shape is the tool below the cursor. So look at this pointer. So there is a tool below it. So when you right click on that tool, you will see some other tools here. We are going to look at all these tools so without wasting my time let's start with rectangle tool so for the rectangle tool this is how it works we need to create rectangles and square to create a rectangle shape you press on the left button and then you drag your mouse to the size you want to create your shape so this is how we create a rectangle and to create a perfect square you press on the shift key then you drag your mouse to the size you want to your square to be so this is how we create a square let's move on to round rounded rectangle tool for the rounded rectangle tool this is how it also works we also use it to create rectangle and square but here the edges will be round so in the same way you press on the shift uh, to create a square you press on the shift key and the left button at the same time then you drag your mouse to the size you want your square to be so here you can see that the edges of this square is not the same as this one the first one the sh the first one has a sharp edges but here it has a round edges that is the only difference to create rectangle to you press on the left button then you drag your mouse to the size you want to create it so let's delete our work to delete your work you press on the backspace button we are moving on to ellipse tool for the ellipse tool, we use it to create circles and spheres. So we are going to create a sphere. To create a sphere, you press on the, or you hold on the left button, then you drag the mouse to create your sphere. So this is how we create a sphere. In the same way, to create a perfect circle, you press on the shift key then you hold on the left button then you drag your mouse to create a perfect circle if you don't do it in that way and you try to hold on only the left button without holding the shift key to draw a circle your circle won't be perfect it will be somehow spherical so to create a perfect circle you hold on the shift key and the left button then you drag the mouse to create the size of the circle so this is how we create a perfect circle so let's move on to polygon 2 this is how we use the polygon tool. That one tool, you press on the left button, then you drag your mouse. So let's 
start it let's draw it from the center so this is how we draw polygon to you can also rotate it so you press on the left button then you drag the mouse to draw your polygon to we are moving on to line 2 for the line 2 it depends on the weight that you want to your line to be you can create the weight so here the weight is one pixel if you want to increase the size you click here so here i want to create 30 30 pixel then you press enter and this is how your line will be if you want to create 100 pixel you just input it there then you press enter after that you draw it so this is the line so we use the line tool to draw a line to draw a perfect line that one to you will just press on the shift key and the left button then you drag your mouse to draw a perfect line so if you want to draw a vertical line or a horizontal line you just hold on the shift key and the left button at the same time so here my hand is holding on the the shift key and the left button so here you could see that uh, i'm trying to draw a rectangle line here a horizontal line here sorry and a vertical line too this is how we draw it so here it will give you the actual shape for a vertical line So let's move on to the custom tools. So for the custom shape tool, this is how it works. Well, the moment you click on the custom shape tool, you will see some changes here. You will come to where the shape is. Then you click on this arrow. When you click on that arrow, you will see some options here. You can choose any of these options. To draw it so if you want to draw a flower you just click on it and you draw your flower here if you want to draw this shape you just click on it then you draw it so that is how we use the custom shape tool and if you want to know more or draw more tools you you can click on this settings button so when you click on it then if you want to see all the tools you click on all so when you click on all all the tools will come you see all the tools there so these are the tools so here we are going to draw a trophy so let's look for a trophy Here you can see that our trophy is not all that perfect. So to draw a perfect trophy, you hold on the shift key and the left button, then you draw your trophy. So our trophy is now perfect. So let's draw it again. You hold on the shift key and the left button at the same time, then you drag your mouse downwards. Right. So this is how we draw a perfect trophy. So what you have to bear in mind is whenever you you want to draw a perfect shape don't forget to hold on the shift key so here yeah, we want to draw a flag so to draw that perfect flag you hold on the shift key then you drag to draw your shape 
So any shape at all that you want to draw, you hold on the shift key and the left button at the same time, then you drag to draw that shape. So if you forget to hold on the shift key though, your shape won't be perfect. So here we are drawing a rectangle, a triangle rather. So to draw a triangle, perfect triangle to you hold on the shift key and the left button, then you draw it. So here you could see a perfect triangle has been drawn. So let's undo our work. So we are deleting them. To draw a star so let's look for where a star is so the star so this is the star so let's click on it so to draw a perfect star just like what I said earlier, when you hold on the shift key and the left button at the same time, then you drag to draw a star. So, so this is how we use the custom shape tool to draw shapes. To draw this shape to hold on the shift key so let's undo our work and draw it again so you hold on the shift key then you drag to draw your shape so